Hi, I'm Rory from PAL, and today we're going to show you the proper way to identify and to install the, the PAL valve closure system on a typical chlorine rail car. PAL has been producing this closure device for several years in accordance to Chlorine Institute pamphlet 57, dealing with the automatic closure of chlorine rail cars. The first actuator PAL developed was designed specifically for the high torque valve produced by American Car and Foundry and American Rail Car Industries. The valve is in limited appearance in the States now, but again, it is still present in the fleet. In the demonstration today, we will show four important PPE requirements for the safe operation of the Unipro valve closure system. One, is glove, one would be gloves, second would be hard hat, three would be safety glasses, and four, steel-toed shoes. However, companies have specific safety requirements when using this equipment. The first valve we're going to look at today will be the ACF ARI high torque chlorine rail car valve. The valve is easily identified by four circular holes that are inside of the hand wheel. This valve requires 120 foot pounds of torque to close and the Unipro will close the typical ACF ARI high torque valve in approximately seven seconds. The installation of the standard Unipro actuator on any typical chlorine rail car is a two-step process. The first is to assure the alignment of two of the drive pins on the adapter plate correspond to at least two of the four circular holes in the rail car valve hand wheel. The next step is to secure the actuator through the tightening of the dome clamp with a thumb screw on the back. With this, the system is now ready to have the final step, which is the connection of the airline. The connection of the airline is through the use of a quick disconnect, which provides visual confirmation of positive connection of the airline to the actuator. The operator will hear a click that when you have the proper alignment, the system is now ready for operation either manual or for automatic operation in the event of a leak. The removal of the standard Unipro actuator from a rail car valve is, is also a two-step process. The first is removal of the air connection so therefore, the system cannot operate without the air connection to it. The second is the loosening of the dome clamp and the lifting of the actuator clear the valve. With this step, the car is now ready to be returned to service to the railroad. In the last 20 years, the North American rail car fleet of chlorine cars has changed drastically. Change has been from the high torque chlorine valve to the soft seed low torque chlorine valve produced by Midland and Eagle. The valve is identified by a solid hand wheel and indentation for the placement of the valve adapter. In response to that, PAL developed the Unipro LT model, which is lightweight and performs the same valve closure activities as the standard Unipro actuator did. It's installed the same method as the previous model. It's placed in position the adapter plate fits in the indentation of the rail car valve. And then the hand wheel is tightened. And the final step is the connection of the air line or nitrogen line to actuate the system. When you use the PAL valve closure system, remember IPAC. Identify the valve, place or install the actuator on the dome, align the adapter to the valve handle, and connect the air line to the actuator. You are ready now to use the system. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like us, give us a thumbs up. Please comment below. If you have questions, please contact us at palsolutions.com. Thank you.